What's up guys and welcome back. You're going to have to watch my next video to find out why I'm at Fowler's. But these two beasts are parked up next to me. Obviously, we're, we're uh, a bit intimidated by the bandit. They are very nice though. You can't say they are not nice. Some big boy money, that's what that is. Damn. Very nice. Let's talk about our little video for today. It's gonna be one of those boring ones where I've got to talk to you and not a lot of exciting stuff happens. But yeah, I'm actually gonna head over to the Clifton Suspension Bridge because I've never actually gone there uh, in a video before. So I thought, why not? And the video I just did, I turned this camera on, I completely forgot it was there, so I wasn't even talking to you. So I apologize for that. But that video will be after this one. It's very confusing, I know. But we're updating you on some stuff, and I need fuel. So we're going to go get some fuel. Then I'll update you, because I need to look at my phone, because I wrote down stuff that I was meant to update you on, and I've forgotten. So it's one of those. Light takes forever. But yeah, you might notice this little contraption. Um, and that's because this wonderful bike as it is decided it didn't need a key anymore and I'm riding home I get home I go to turn the bike off and it's got no bloody key in it so that happened right fuel is paid for we can get on the video so as you can see it's a nice day today and uh, it's lovely because it's on the weekend so we get to enjoy it it's wonderful so now I have to do this whole scenario and use the this carabiner so just in case the key decide to come out and become keyless again, it will stay on there. Let's turn this camera back on. As you can see, I've zip tied this on as well, so it don't come flying off like that other video. Right, Clifton, let's go. And the first thing I'm gonna say, that I can update you on, as you can see I'm wearing my gloves, these terrible gloves that they are. I need to get some more gloves, because look, these are getting holes in already. Big holes as well. Look, look what, what, what is this, Dianese? What is this? Anyway, and then also, look, I have a zip again. So big shout out, do you know what, I'll see if I can take a picture of his card that he gave me, and I'll put it on. I put on in a Facebook group, if anyone knows where I can fix my levers to, about the zip, because if you don't know, I've sent this, this, leather, jacket, this leather suit back three times, or no, I've sent it back twice, because of that zip and then that zip went again and I was like I, I'm not going to send it back I can't be asked. so I got someone to fix it and I finally got someone to do it and do you know what it's in so much the zip is so much better than this one am I going to reverse back to let the cyclist through I'm going to try it's the best I can do sorry cheers such a British man I am um so yeah of, uh, this title says Mighty Midget and the reason it says that is for those the people that have missed me and not realised I've actually been back because I know there's been I can hear a four cylinder motorcycle coming up onto me uh, oh there's a group of them actually nice Hayabusa the R6F and something else that I can't see behind me I've been saying about the helmet and I got someone to send me a picture of how they've set up their chin mount. So we're going back to the chin mount. I've bought what I need. And hopefully it works. So that's the plan. Any who's. But saying that, I've had an eye on a, a helmet for a while anyways. And I've just seen someone with it. Uh, like wearing it. And it's definitely the helmet I want. I think I've decided. And it's not a massively expensive helmet either. Anyways, yes. Mighty Midget, because basically, I still get messages, oh, I've just realised it was you back, yeah, I didn't realise because of the name change and things like that. So I just want to quickly go over that, why I've changed the name. Uh, so welcome those guys that have missed me, I have been posting videos, so now you get a chance to go back and watch a load of videos. So aren't you a lucky cookie? Uh, who's beeping? So yeah, obviously the name has changed to Junior. Yeah, Mighty Midget was a nickname I was given when I was a kid at school. Back then, you know, I didn't take offence to it. I was a short kid. Uh, I did gymnastics, so I was this mighty one. It was when we were on a school trip and uh, we were playing football. And um, every time I score, I do all these backflips and whatnot. 
and then we were up against another school and they were like, oh, mighty midget, mighty midget, and then it's that. But obviously, the, the word midget or the phrase midget is offensive. And I never wanted to offend people. It was just the nickname I was given and it was, it was a cool thing and I didn't, I just didn't think. I've not had anyone ever say, you know, oh, your name offends me. But I, I could see it happening at some point and I don't want that. So Junior was another nickname I was given as a kid by my gym coach. Uh, he used to call my dad Senior, me Junior. Um, so that stuck, so that's why it's changed to that. So hopefully by putting Mighty Midget in the title, I've been able to grab your attention for those people that haven't realized I've been back because of their name change. And I welcome you all back. You're, you might know so I'm another different bike. And when you come to watch the next video, you'll understand that it's not gonna be here for much longer. Why well, I, you know, I say that? It's gonna be here for a little bit, a few more months. Uh, but yeah, you, you'll have to wait for that video to come out and while I was at Fowler's. So yeah, that's helmet, leather sorted, the bike. I've been put off the bike for a little while because I didn't have an MOT and obviously that key decided to become a keyless bike. It thought it was a modern day bike and it's not. What else? That was that was the main reason I wanted to make this video was just for the name change uh, to, 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 to bring people back. But I want to say again, I say this in the next video, the support on my Instagram has been popping off. Absolutely love that. Thank you all of the people that have gone and followed me on the Insta spams. Um, if you don't, go follow me now. Just do it quickly, you know, bit, bop, bit, bop, done. You're finished, done, followed. When I have questions for you guys to make decisions on what bike I should get next or a video or how you might want me to do this, that, and the other, Instagram is where I go. You know, I, I've, I've made a new Facebook because obviously the name changed. Uh, they wouldn't let me change the name. I already had like 500 people that liked that Facebook page, but I, hadn't, I couldn't keep it because I wouldn't let me change my name. So it was like, Ugh. but I, I'm not pushing the Facebook. I'm not pushing the Facebook. I'll be posting some videos over there, like separate videos. But at the moment, I'm focused on the Instagram. We're going to try and pop it off. I want to get at least 3,000 followers on there. I think 3,000 is a good number. We're, half, we're almost halfway there, so. We've been good, we've been posting a load of pictures. Uh, I want to get some pictures with the missus in, so that'll be fun. Get her sitting on the bikes, probably get one of her dropping the bike. <laughs> but it is what it is, we move. But yeah, saying that, if you're an old school, old, old, school, uh, old, old school subscriber, you might remember once upon a time I did, if you, if you wonder what that like weird like noise that comes from the bike sometimes, it's something to do with the radiator cover. I just can't be asked to fix it at the moment. I love this. Whee! Every time I come around here, it's always like full of traffic. So it's quite nice that it's not for once. Um, yeah, Instagram. I used to give shout outs of Instagrammers. Instagrammers? Insta, Insta pages? I don't know. Um, and I want to bring that back because I think that was quite a good little community thing we had going there. So all you need to do, obviously, subscribe to this channel because that's just one rule you should do anyway in life. Uh, but no, follow my Instagram and then send me some pictures of anything you want. Be showing you're active on the on on the inst on my Instagram, anyways, uh, because the more active you are, the more I notice you. So I want to give out a big shout out to Ben anyway, because oh my God, the amount of support he's been showing me. If you haven't realised. Go look at all my comments on every video. He's always commented. So big shout out to you, boy. Um, that almost sounded like I called you a big boy. I didn't mean to say that. Anyway, um, yeah, big shout out to you, mate. You've, you've been you've been supporting the channel for an absolute long time, and I so much appreciate it. Big shout out to you. If you want me to shout out anything like your Instagram or anything you've got like that, let me know, and you'll be the first person. Um, yeah, more people that are, like people that are just supporting the channel like that. I want to give a shout out to their social medias because they're supporting me. I want to support you back. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. But yeah, send me some DMs on Instagram of what you want me to share. Maybe it's your YouTube channel. Maybe it's your Instagram. Maybe it's your Facebook. I don't really care what it is. As long as you're supporting me, I'm going to support you. And that's as simple as it is. A little shout out. It's nothing going to, you ain't going to get like a million followers from it. But if you're helping me, I'm going to help you guys. It's as simple as that, you know. The biker community, we're all about helping each other in situations, you know, we're all, we're a big brotherhood and sisterhood, so we got to help each other and, and, and that's how it works. Obviously, 
I, I have videos all over the place at the moment, all scheduled over where I've edited them in a weird order because I'm weird like that. So whenever this video comes out, I'll then start doing it from that point on. So there might be videos that come out after this and you're like, well, where's the shout out? You know, I haven't missed it. It's just been in a random order, okay? But yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to say. The, 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 I want to update you on the KTM, but I can't because I don't get any information from them because they just say, oh, we're waiting for parts. I'm like, okay, cool. But you've had it for like, I think it's five weeks now. So it's like, kind of hurry up, please. <laughs> no, it's more longer than that. It's seven weeks, isn't it? God, I'll put it on screen however long it has been. It's a bit of madness. But I want that bike back, okay? And if you want to know what's going to go on with that bike, Guess what? No, don't go follow me. Well, I do go follow my Instagram, but it's not on there. It's uh, on that next video that I'm going to be posting at some point. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. But we're almost at the bridge now, as you can see. I've taken a weird route, but I like this route. Oh, actually, no, I've got one more thing to update you on before we get to the bridge itself. Uh, which I'm not going across because I've got paid to go across. So I don't want to do that. Um, is, <laughs> funny enough, I've actually got another job again. Yeah, I know. Uh, I enjoyed the apprenticeship. I have to love it. Uh, the policeman is out on his pedal bike today. Um, look at all these people enjoying the sun. Yeah, um, I've got another job, and this is going to be a big change. Um, actually, this is why I wanted to make this video in the first place, is because of this whole situation that's going on. Um, so I'm going to find a place to pull over in a minute, and I'm going to talk to you about something. Uh, I didn't really, I, I could have showed you the bridge, I should have really gone over it. Uh, I just kind of drove past it at this point, didn't I? <laughs> didn't really, really show it off. It was a bit silly of me. Um, Alright, let's find a place to pull over quickly. I ain't going to be staying long, so I ain't got to worry about no parking things. Look at these buildings around here. Madness. I'm pulling over, so don't kill me, Range Rover. Skr, skr. Oh, that's the new S1000. Very nice. I'm not going to lie, I think I prefer the old one. I know that's just one man's opinion, but I do. I just I just prefer the old one. This is why I wanted to make this video, because 2020 has been ridiculous for me. It really has. I went I went from a job that I, was, I, I enjoyed and I was secure in to... I went to uni with no job at all, then left uni, which was a big decision anyway. Then COVID happened, and then I had two jobs of that, and now I'm starting a new job in something that I've always wanted to do. Oh, it's been mad. It's been absolutely crazy. And so many, so much things have happened in 2020. So many things. I finally feel like I'm back at home like my life is coming back I've, I've, uh, I've started talking to friends back at home you know organizing things that we can do stuff and things are finally coming back to the normal again I'm back to posting videos you know doing my hobbies riding my bikes oh it's, it's I feel like I'm at a good good stage in my life and I want to keep it for as long as possible in this happy moment you know I'm not majorly stressing anymore. I feel like I'm at ease. And it's so nice. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that's put up with me and waited for me. Uh, and, and has been so supportive of making, making these videos. Yeah, I think I've said everything I need to. I know it's another one of these weird videos. Uh, but exciting things are coming. I swear down to you. I keep saying this, but I swear. Like I said, we're finally at a stage now where things are coming back to normal. I'm going to start settling in a job that I enjoy uh, and I can start making good content get a, a nice bike all three I don't know yet well I do maybe I do know I don't know who knows I don't know. we'll see we'll see how things happen but yeah I, I, I can't wait I cannot wait thank you guys I appreciate everything you can you, you've done for me oh this policeman oh Oh, he's getting told off. Oh, he's getting told off. Oh, oh. oh, no, he's helping him. Oh, see, that's better. See, 
say enjoyment. Oh, do you know what? I left work yesterday and everyone was so happy. It was people let me out. Oh, everyone seemed to be so happy yesterday and it put me in such a good mood. So I went out drinking. <laughs> Obviously social distancing and keeping by the rules and the laws and everything like that because I'm good like that. I don't want to spread no COVID. <sighs> oh, guys, if you could see my face right now. I know I haven't done one of the like big Sunday videos where I've, uh, you know, we planned something big. And, but they're coming again. Got some more planned. Uh, it was just a bit of a, a rush this weekend, unfortunately. Um, but we had some good weather this weekend, which is good, which is nice. I'm just enjoying life, okay? And I hope you guys are too. If you're going through any struggles right now, hit me up on the DMs and I'll make you smile somehow, okay? Because positivity, positivities, positivities are what this life is about. All right.